very exciting. Caden, your grand slam in the bottom of the eighth. How'd that feel? And then did it feel a little a little depressing, I guess, in the ninth where it didn't really matter anymore? You guys had to come back up. I mean, it mattered, but you know. Right. Uh, I was just excited. I knew like that I was going to get the job done, and I was just trying to barrel the baseball. And you know, when they came back, you know, we we just knew that we had another chance to hit, and that we could get it done. So. And Chris obviously got it done and started off with Michael. Yeah, uh, for either of you, this is twice now in the series where you guys had a big eighth inning, two out rally that got you back into the game. Uh, what do you think that says about the lineup and, and where you guys are offensively right now? Um, I mean, I think it's just a sign of a tough team. We know we're talented, but um, kind of just, just shows that we're, we're a bunch of tough guys playing baseball. So it's sort of very good, very good for uh, moving forward. I agree. I feel like we're never out of it with anybody because anybody one through nine can spark the lineup, and once it sparks, it's just hard to stop us. Grand slams are pretty rare uh, to have two in two days. I wonder what your feelings are. And have you ever had two in a season at any level before? I'm, I'm not sure. I don't think so. Not in any like high level, but you know, I'm just just trying to barrel baseballs and just do the things for my team and just lucking out. You're hitting leadoff now, uh, or at least in the series you were. How, how do you feel hitting leadoff? And and for either of you, if you could talk about what what Caden's you know leadoff production uh, did for the lineup in the last four. Um, I was pretty excited to see that I was in leadoff. Uh, I feel like I can I can spark it early, and you know I, I feel like there's a lot of guys in this team that can do it and will do it because I feel like it you know my change may not, but um, you know I'm just I know I can take pitches and see the ball up and drive the ball and you know I just I just want to get on base for the guys behind me yeah um, going off of that he, he sees a lot of pitches and, and he does barrel ball so um, and a guy that's just impossible to strike out so I, I think he's he's perfect for the role whether it's first second or third um, you know he fits right in Chris, going going up to bat in the ninth, before before you and Michael got up, did you guys talk to each other? You know, say, hey, we're gonna be fine. I mean, my, and then just your thoughts on Michael, how he's doing. I mean, he had a great weekend as well. Uh, we didn't say anything. We just gave each other kind of a look. You know, we have confidence in each other, and uh, you know, it's huge for, for him to get get that double because I mean, I didn't have to do a ton to to get him over, and and uh, you know, it just kind of took the pressure off me. So. I mean, his his role has been huge. Caden, I don't know about you, but these uh, two comeback wins this week kind of felt familiar to some of the non-conference games that you played early last season in terms of you know late rallies, you know, winning against a non-conference team. Do you see similarities uh, between those games and 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 maybe this team and, and what last year's team was able to do so late in so many games? Absolutely. I mean, last year we were really a tough team, really talented team. And honestly, I think this year we're even tougher and even better. And I know, like, we haven't been that great offensively throughout the year, but I think that our guys are really stepping up and being comfortable. And, uh, you know, we have confidence with everybody that goes to the plate now. And uh, I think it's just been like a relief off our back, just knowing that everybody can do it. And then Chris, uh, uh, Coach Van Horn was saying today that he thinks that, you know, sometimes with returning players, there can be uh, – you know, pressure on them, you know, to live up to what they've done in the past. He said, but uh, with players like you and, and Michael, transfers coming in, a lot of times it feels like you, know, you just play loose. I wonder what you think about that and uh, just what this season's been like uh, having a, a fresh start somewhere new this year. Yeah, I mean, I, I uh, really don't know about any of that. I'm just kind of coming in here. It's just kind of I've never played or even seen a place like this with baseball, so I'm just super grateful to be here. I'm just kind of trying to live every day like that. And uh, – it kind of helps me on the field just to, to play hard every play, and, and uh, that's, that's really all. It might be over this season, but basketball is in full steam for both pros and college hoops. For all the latest odds, totals, player performance props to where the next fired coach is going to land, Bet Online is the number one spot for all your sports betting needs. Head over to the website or use your mobile device to sign up today and receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Use our promo code BELIEVE to get started. That's promo code B L E A V. And it's not just basketball. Bet Online is your source for hockey, boxing, and UFC odds. Right to the Olympic coverage is the best in the business. From sports right down to your favorite Vegas casino games, Bet Online is your number one online wagering destination. Bet Online, the fastest and easiest way to wager on all your favorite sports and play your favorite games. Bet Online. 
where the game starts.